Okay, and hello and welcome to another Supreme Commander 1v1 shoutcast with me, Valmoose, and these two guys, Mexes of Reality and Tokyo T underscore person. Um, oh, I should start the game, and here we go. So, these guys are both very good players. Mexes of Reality is like, I don't know, top 11, something in that order. Tokyo is in the top 50, but uh, clearly, Mexes of the Reality is the clear favorite in this map, so we're going to see how this all goes down. Now, if you've been watching my channel before a little bit, you should know that uh, I haven't made a cast in a while, and I'm sorry for that. Big reason for that was I got sick, and you know it was I was out for a couple of days, and you know that's fine. And but then I, the whole sore throat thing kind of persisted for quite a while, and I didn't really quite feel up to doing a shot cast in a sub perform capacity, so I didn't. But here I am back with some more casts, and um, yeah, hopefully I will finally get into a regular groove of being able to do shot casts, that's something I've been hoping to do, but haven't quite got there yet. I know it's been a little bit sporadic here and there, but um, hopefully that will improve. We've got two misses coming down for Tokyo, and then a Hydro Coven doing some reclaim. Don't know why he's reclaiming instead of helping out, that seems a bit of an odd choice to me, but yeah, okay. Um, yeah, same choice here, except the three recommendation is help in the hydrocarbon, which definitely comes across as the more clearer and better option. This map, I I don't know this map. I have never played it. Is that mass? That is mass, okay? So we've got nice both all the queues already queued up for Tokyo down here. So we got nice big mass chunks here that is, as always, to bring the players into the center of the map to start pew-pewing each other. So that will be fun to see. Um, ACU going forward for Mexus and I think that's a fairly good choice. What is this? He's building, what is he doing? Is he going to build Navy? This is... I don't... What are you... Or is he going to do like... What? I... Sometimes... I, what? Yeah, I, I, I am saying that as well. That seemed confusing to me. I don't quite know. Yeah, dude, you're in control of your ACU, right? It just moved away. For no reason. Hmm. Unlikely. Some smack talk going through. These players know Mexes of Reality is uh, the clear favorite here, but they just have a little smack talk, have a little fun with each other, which is nice and fun to see. Um. Yeah, okay, some of a slow start to the game, or maybe it's not really a slow start, but I guess they're just walking towards each other. This is a hopeful, optimistic striker. He is first out, he's going to do his nation proud by, you know, destroying his enemies, but. As we all know, he has no chance for surviving the battle. No matter what happens, he will not live to see the victory or the defeat. He is just going to die soon. There's a nature of, you know, being in the first wave. You just die. And uh, you might get some good work, but you're not going to survive, eh? Eh? Okay, so <laughs> we're going to see, see some T1 spam out of Tokyo. I'm going to speed this up because I'm struggling to find things to talk about when they aren't doing anything. Okay, finally, a bomber coming up. So, this bomber might do his... Ideally, bomber at this stage of the game it will be going off with the engineers to really just slow down the building, maybe try and get a power store, or, although I think that's highly unlikely in this match. Ah, uh, intercept already out, so... You got two bombs off, right? <laughs> if you had just got a little bit, one, another one or two out. Because, uh... The, the cyber bomb drops definitely more than two bombs. I only got two bombs off. I don't know about sound. I'm gonna just turn the sound down a teensy winty bit because I don't like it drying out the words that I say. Um, so both players have got their big chunks of mass, the three hundred ones. There's this mass here, which is still definitely worth getting, but no one's got yet. This ACU is an interesting position. He is really going aggressive with it. Um, I don't hate it at all. I think he must have seen Tokyo's ACU there, so now he's maybe thinking a little bit better of his life choices. <clears throat> but um, yeah, again, there's a, there's a ton of mass here. Oh, is there a ton of mass? There is eight mass there, which is... Yeah, but... Um, yeah, I'm not entirely quite sure why Mexus walked down here, shot two things and then came back, but... He did. Um, are we going to go see T2 Maxes or T2 Land anytime soon? I'm just going to have a look. No, we still... Yeah, we've got a T2 Max. And that probably means we're probably going to be seeing T2 Land at some point. There doesn't seem to be too much T1 spam here. Tokyo is going also very far forward with his ASU. I guess he also knows his enemy's ASU is down here on the side. Like, well, 
If you're down there, I'm gonna come up here and shoot the stuff. Kills the Maxus and runs away. I guess that's a raid. Not overextending. Neither ACU is particularly um, overextending to, you know, then die. Um, got some T1 spam over here. Turkey is definitely gonna win this fight because he just has more. And you know what? Skill has a large part to play in win battles, but sometimes just having more is the right choice. Quantity has a quality all of its own. Someone famous said that, it might be Stalin. I might be making it up, but who knows? I'm, I'm, I, I don't know. Pretty sure it's Stalin. He said a bunch of stuff. That guy was a jerk. But he was a good jerk, right? Two dictators, you know, managed to die of natural causes, and he managed to do that. Or oh, he probably died of natural causes. There's a little bit of uh, conspiracy theories about that, but you know, he did pretty well in terms of being alive for a long time as a horrible dictator man. Few people are able to achieve that. There is a T1 battle down in the <laughs> bottom right of the corner right. Nothing more to say about that. Um, this is the reality is winning that T1 sp I'm just bringing more to the fight. Um, as always, um, creating a nice mass field here. So, ooh, yeah, usually I'm always like, hey, there is no engineer to reclaim the mass. But there was one right there, although he didn't last very long. But I like that, right? Having some engineers there to um, reclaim the mass is really nice. T1 bombers are really effective against this t type of T1 spam. It requires a level of micro that most players don't possess um, to be able to control everything else as well as the occasional T1 bomber run. It can be very cost effective. It's very micro intensive, so... Not so commonly seen, but it's very nice to see when it does happen. The Lamas is here. The ACU is trying to reclaim the mass, but it's going to take a shot by a scout. Why they put a gun under scout, no one knows. It does like one damage, it's completely and utterly useless. Just just have a cheaper scout and not have a gun. That's what everyone is thinking. Or maybe people don't think that. Maybe I just think that. Maybe people are like, yeah, we want a gun on scout. Maybe it just never occurred to one that a gun on scout is just a waste of resources. I mean, that scout could be one mass cheaper without that gun. It doesn't sound like much, but when you build like a thousand scouts, there's like a thousand mass, but if you build a thousand scouts, you've got bigger problems. Uh, we seen t we should see T2 soon. Are we we not seen T2 at all? But again, just the one T2 Max from Maxus of Reality or T1 here on Turkey as well. We're not going to T2 yet either. Just building tons of T1 stuff. So the T1 spam is real. This ACU is not getting work done. He's in an upgrade. So if he, that's a gun upgrade, he was to kill some serious damage here. But his window opportunity is closing. Especially is I don't quite know how he's gonna deal with this with Max's ACU down here. Um, he's even got Sky Slammies in here, so the bomber runs won't be very effective. Uh, I don't like this. Maxis has really gone with some very strong position with ACU here, and this whole spawn of stuff here. He could just walk right in here, and I don't think there's much Tokyo can do about that. His only chance is to finish this upgrade very quickly and um, wreck face over here. Well, his face is getting wrecked over here. This is like a knife fight, right? A knife fight in a phone booth. No one comes out all right. It's all bad for everyone. I'm not sure I like his forces being split up like this. I guess he's got like a little force down here to maybe draw forces away and then use this force up here, but I don't know. This ACU is going to get some good kills on. He might get some real veterancy. He is coming down here, he's not actually going over the base, so he's playing more conservative. He's thinking like, hey, I can kill all this stuff here with this ACU, and you know what? He can. This ACU with the gun upgrade with all this crap can totally knock this stuff out. So, yeah, I definitely prefer his move coming down here then rather than going for his base. I definitely prefer that much more. Um, still, this ACU needs to get work done. I think, um, economy-wise, mix of reality, his lead is too strong at the moment. He's upgraded uh, another mechs. He controls more of the map. Or rather, he controls by his half, but uh, Turkey doesn't have control of his half because it got smashed in the face. But uh, <clears throat> at least the wreckage is all in Tokyo's control. So I think um, I'm certainly not counting him out yet. But uh, he, he, this ACU needs to do a lot of work. Um, and hopefully that doesn't involve shooting the terrain. Go, go ACU, kill the things. Why are you not running towards the things that you can kill? <coughs> cough, cough, cough. 
Um, do, 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 do. Maxus is continuously putting away an economy. He's going to try and swarm the SU. This SU ran too far away from his T1 support. There is some there. But his capacity to get veterancy is large. But, oh no, is he going to die here? He needs to kill more things. He's about to get veterancy upgrade. He kills one more thing. Kill one more thing. Get veterancy upgrade. He needs to get the help. Uh, is this, is this, I thought, is this over? I thought this game was longer than this, right? This game is too long for him to die here, so, but it's not looking good at all. He's, oh, yeah, he's not going to survive this. He just, he just over, overwhelmingly swarmed. So, normally I am a huge fan of the T1 gun upgrade. In fact, you know what, I am just a fan of the T1 upgrade. I think he could have done a lot of work with that. And, um, if he had just kept his T1 support near his ACU, things would have gone very differently at that stage of the game. The advice from Exodus to pull the Janus. Um, yeah, he might absolutely not be wrong. I would have definitely required an upgrade instead of the gun upgrade, but if he had both Genesis and his ACU, Max's ACU is all the way down here. Where is his ACU at the moment? I can't do where is his ACU. Yeah, his ACU is very vulnerable to air attack. So if he got like six Genesis out, um, yeah, could have caused a lot of damage. I, I prefer the T1 gun upgrade. I just think that Tokyo left his ACU too far exposed from his T1 support. Um, otherwise, um, Mexus was able to just gain control more of the map, right? He just, he could bet her a little bit in the early game and that had a little effect on him later on. Well, t yeah, Mexus ACU was down here causing stuff. Tokyo sent his ACU up here and he didn't really do as much damage as what Mexus ACU did. Mexus got the T2 upgrade on Mex earlier on, he wasn't punished for it. So yeah, thank you for joining me for that, and with that I'm going to call this game to close, and I hope you see you guys next time. Okay, bye.